Hi everyone, good to see you again and for today's BTS inspired meditation we're going to continue on the theme of galaxies that was found in uh, the last meditation of microcosmos and go to one that I have been wanting a song that I've been wanting to do a meditation for for a very long time and that is Magic Shop and I have to say that for me Magic Shop was what confirmed the mental health angle <laughs> of BTS um, because I like so many had seen it and felt it uh, in listening to their music but Magic Shop itself has um, multiple connections to mental health um, for starters there is the the book Into the Magic Shop which they they draw from and reference a name and that has to do with uh, a gentleman that's, who's now a neuroscientist, but it was how he learned to meditate. And uh, it's a wonderful book. So as somebody that studies meditation and mental health, it was one that I was familiar with. So to have them reference it was interesting. Um, Magic Shop is also part of a, is, is also a name for a kind of um, therapeutic treatment where basically uh, people come in, in the dynamic with their uh, therapy provider literally there's an exchange. If there's something that they are having a hard time with, they literally create an exchange. And it's, it's, it's the a giving up of one thing in exchange for something else. And it's a therapeutic process that people work, will work through to get over things. So it's, um, it's a safe space, basically. Um, I'm oversimplifying it, but there's literature out there that will explain it in far more detail than what I've got time for um, to do today. But what I also love about Magic Shop is that as somebody that's trained in peer support, what peer support means is those of us who have lived experience of mental health crises and mental health conditions uh, receive training so that we can learn to support other folks and do so in a manner that doesn't put us and our own mental health at risk, but also comes from that place where um, it's something that with the, for those of us with lived experience, it's so nice to talk to somebody <laughs> that's kind of lived in a similar brain to our own. It might not be the exact same thing, but there's a place of comfort. So Magic Shop is also, whether the guys intended it or not, a really wonderful example of peer support. The lyrics over and over talk about places where uh, they feel that they have fa uh, failed or been unable to do things. So whether I think of, of lines by RM and by Suga specifically, where they reveal themselves in terms of places where they thought they hadn't done well, or would you believe me if I had said that, you know, I had lost faith or that I felt like a failure or um, Suga's lines about, again, ambition and how those things, the way he had pursued them, wanting to be the best, being a perfectionist. And I, I share the OCD diagnosis with him, so I totally know where it's going, where you, that becomes the thing that drives you. And at the same time, it becomes that, as he puts it, the leash that chokes you. So first of all, there's a revelation, a revealing of their own lived experience in terms of feelings of lack of self-worth, of uh, things where they weren't necessarily in the most mentally healthy places. But there's also the more important revelation of, and that's okay. I got through it, and part of the reason why I got through it was because of you. So they talk about the reciprocal relationship, and that in many respects, it was our creation of a safe space for them to be who they were, to be those wonderful, lovable, goofy dorks that are forever pulling pranks, um, doing whatever it is that they do, not just to each other, but, you know, will gladly um, explain to the thousands of people in front of them, whoops, I think I just blew the crotch on my pants. I'm just going to be waddling like a penguin for a while, but I'm just going to, you know, admit it to thousands of folks that they will do those things. They feel comfortable enough that rather than, you know, sheepishly backing up and flagging somebody down to get them off stage and get them a new pair of pants they just keep going that's the kind of safe space that a magic shop is a magic shop is that safe space 
And so when you think about it, I say, I reference back to the galaxy. It's that idea that in RM's lyrics, he talks about the idea of wanting to see our stars shine. I want to believe in your galaxy. I want to, I do believe your galaxy. I want to listen to your melody, how the stars of your galaxy will embroider your sky. At the end of my despair, I found you at last. Don't forget, you're the last reason for me who is standing on the edge of the cliff. Live. So he tells us, again, in a true peer support style of how it was us as army that was there for him. And also, you know, his seven colleagues, his seven buddies, those brothers look after each other. So they're also a metaphor for peer support. And these are the lines that we're going to focus on today, the ones that follow. On a day you hate being yourself, on a day you want to disappear forever. And what's interesting is the way it's actually worded is it's worded in the first person. So it's the idea, on a day I hate being myself, on a day I want to disappear forever. Let's build a door in your mind. Once you open the door and enter, this place will wait for you. It's okay to believe. Magic shop that will comfort you and then references the drinking a cup of hot tea and looking up to the galaxy, you'll be all right. Oh, here it is, magic shop. And that's what I want us to focus on is the creation of that safe space in today's meditation. And that we're going to focus on the idea of building a door in your mind, opening the door and entering the place that's safe for you and that that's the place that again your melody the stars of your galaxy embroidering your sky and that in a sense we created a magic shop for them so that they create could create that magic shop for us and so again there was this reciprocal idea so I want you to invite you to again find yourself in a comfortable position where you can breathe comfortably, feel secure, feel warmth. And we're going to do some visualizations in this particular meditation. So I want you to again, I invite you to close your eyes. Just regular breaths and in and out. I want you to think about Again, if you're having one of those days where you're not feeling good and where you want to disappear, or to think about this meditation and revisit it when you're having one of those days and you feel you're walking down a dark and wet street you don't feel there's much light. You're not feeling very good. When you think about that, I want you to see on this dark street, there's lights up overhead. There's a street light. You're looking on either side and you're realizing, oh, well, it's dark and wet. That dampness is reflecting the light. So light is coming from places that you wouldn't expect. And that while you might feel cold, you're realizing that this dark street has actually got light reflecting maybe off cobblestones, wet stones, wet pavement. Lights reflecting off the windows of closed shops. And you keep walking down this street, walking down this wet street, and you're realizing more places where again, light is reflecting. For all the different closed doors and darkened shop windows, you see a light further down the street. Wonderful, warm, warm glow. And it's drawing you towards it. So maybe you pull your coat a little tighter, wrap your scarf a little bit more around you, put your hands in your pockets, and you're walking down this wet street knowing 
that light is drawing you and you're feeling warmer and warmer as you get closer and closer to it. As you get to this door, you start to smell something, something warm and inviting. Think of your favorite hot drink. Maybe it is tea. Maybe it's a nice warm lemon tea. Maybe it's a nice comforting chamomile or peppermint. Or if you're like my stepdad, a big old pot of red rose <laughs> in a brown Betty. You're smelling that warmth, that smell drawing you in. You're seeing the light. And as you get closer, you see that it's an older building and maybe it's brick and stone. You're seeing warm, dark wooden doors with panels. And you're seeing the glass panel at the top of the door, the top half of the door. And it's frosted and you can't see through. But written wonderful gold letters it says welcome to the magic shop and you grab the brass doorknob that's there and it feels a little cold to your hand but it's a coolness that makes you feel alive and invigorated you have feeling because you are alive so that's the thing to remember, is that sometimes when we're feeling pain, remember it's the fact that we're alive that we feel. So you've got that doorknob in your hand and you feel the click of the latch and you push the door forward and you walk into a space that is just radiating warmth you're suddenly enveloped in a space where you find yourself surrounded by so many wonderful things and you pause to take in this space. And at first you see bookshelves and you see them overflowing with so many rich covers and some books are open on a table. And you're seeing this all in a warm, glowing light. And you realize that the source of the light is coming from a wonderful fireplace off to one side. You're seeing a nice, warm fire glowing and two big, comfy chairs on either side of that fire flanking that fireplace and you start to move towards it and you realize that there are candles in other places lighting up the rest of the room and you start to notice more objects around the room and it's filled with everything from old telescopes and microscopes and things associated with science but it's also filled with jars of things. And some of those things are the sweets and candies that were your favorite thing in your youth. The candy that you always, you know, maybe asked your indulgent auntie or your grandma for. And you see that there are all of these different things in your life that gave you hope and strength. Pictures of loved ones, maybe loved ones that you haven't seen in a while. Maybe loved ones that have passed on. But as you realize all of these things you're seeing, what you've done, what you've walked into, is this place of comfort and security. And that as you walk towards the chair and you start to take off your coat or your scarf, whatever it was that you were bundled up in, and you're able to hang them, on a rack that's there, this wonderful old wooden curved coat rack. You put all your outerwear there, you rub your hands together, and you sit down in one of those big comfy chairs 
and there's a wonderful blanket there ever kind of blanket you feel most comfortable in. Maybe it's the quilt that a grandma made. Uh, maybe it's a, a blanket that you made yourself. Maybe it's wonderful and fuzzy and woolen. Maybe it's uh, something that's nice and heavy and felted uh, or like I said quilted. Just the, the most wonderful warm comfy blanket that you can think of. And you spread it out over you or wrap it up in you, whatever way feels comfortable. And you're feeling that heat radiate and taking the chill out. You're in a safe place now. And you suddenly realize you hadn't noticed it before. But there is a wonderful, large teapot in front of you. And you can see the steam coming off it. And you can see that there's two teacups in front of you. So the two cups that are sitting there are beautiful and they look like they would fit perfectly in your hands. And so you see the steaming teapot and you're just about to reach for it to pour yourself a cup of tea and you see a figure that's emerged from the shadows and is grabbing the teapot delicately and going and pouring tea while warmly saying to you, Hi, it's so nice to see you here. Welcome to the magic shop. And the voice is familiar, but the room is dark and your eyes are still adjusting. And it's not till he's handed you your cup of nice warm steaming tea and looks up at you that you realize it's the member of BTS that you most need to see right now the one that you would love to sit down and talk with and share what's going on in your life and be comforted by you see him and he smiles again and says, yes, it's me. I'm so glad you could make it. I've been waiting for you. Here, just let me get my tea, and I'm going to sit down and join you. So he pours himself a cup of tea, sits down in the chair opposite you in the, across the fireplace, snuggles up under a blanket, and says, so, did you get a chance to take a look around your magic shop? Because this is your magic shop. You see all the things that are a part of your life and your memories. And all of the things that made you happy and different experiences. Those are all here. Everything that's ever made you happy, even for a fleeting moment, is here. That's why I'm here. I'm also here because this magic shop is connected to every other magic shop including the magic shop that you help make for me and make for all seven of us. Magic shop exists because of what you gave us. So we're here for you whenever you need us. So let's sit down and talk and have some tea. Tell me whatever it is that you need to express right now and I'll be here for you and I'll listen. And so you settle into a wonderful conversation. You share your hopes, your fears, your doubts, your dreams. And the responses that you get are from somebody that's walked a similar path. He will tell you about his own hopes and fears and dreams and those moments where he didn't think his dreams were going to happen, or those moments where he thought he really messed up and wasn't sure what was going to happen. And he will tell you all of those things because those are the things that they have shared with us so much already. You'll continue to talk, and the more you talk and the longer the conversation goes, 
the more comforted you are, the more calm you are. You're now warm from the inside all the way through. The tea, the conversation, the blanket, the fire have all warmed you. And he pauses and says, would you like some more tea? And as he pours you some more tea and tops off his own teacup, he says, take a look up. You see the skylight there? Do you see those stars? That's your galaxy. That's your galaxy. That's your constellation. And I'm always there and I'm always a part of it. Just as you are a star in my galaxy, I am a star in yours. So whenever you look up and see your constellation, see your galaxy and your stars, know that I am there. And you take a look up and you see the bright sparkling stars up through the skylight and you smile and say thank you. And he says no thank you. Thank you for being one of the stars in my sky. You gave us magic shop. This magic shop is just a gift back to you and all the magic shops are interconnected. We all just come in through our own door and into our own space with our own memories, our own photos that are arrayed through this space. But we all come into the same space to support each other. So Magic Shop is always here for you. And you continue to talk. The conversation now is about the hopes and the dreams and the positive. You're emboldened, you're confident, you are empowered. He says, oh look at, so much more time has gone by. I can't believe this. Look at, take a look up through the skylight. The sky is getting lighter, the sun is rising. This has been a wonderful evening. I'm so glad that you came to Magic Shop and shared so much and I hope I've been able to help you and comfort you and support you the way you have supported not just myself but all seven of us over these years. Here, let me take your teacup and let me help you out of the blanket. It's, he takes these things and he tucks them away neatly, walks you back to where the coat rack is and helps you with your coat, your scarf, whatever it was that you were wearing helps you bundle back up and keep walking to the door offers you a nice big warm hug and said it was so nice that you came by I'm so grateful and just know one of us is always here for you whenever you need to come to magic shop all you need to do is walk towards that door and one of us will be here with a nice pot of tea to sit with you, to comfort you, and to give you back the love and support that you've given us. And he gives you another nice big hug and a wave. You take a nice deep breath. You say thank you, see you again, and you walk through the door and out onto a nice, warm, sunny street. And that rain that at first you thought had made the street so cold and clammy has actually washed the streets clean and they're fresh and they're bright. And everything seems reinvigorated. The flowers are all bright and brilliant and refreshed with that extra rain that had come down. And that's how you're feeling, bright and refreshed and clean and warm and moving forward into the rest of your day. And so now you are coming forward into the space. You're taking another set of deep breaths. You're coming into the room. Another deep breath, and another deep breath, and you're finding yourself 
carrying the warmth, the confidence, and the grounding that you gain through this meditation and through this visit to Magic Shop. As you take another deep breath, you're more and more aware of the room. And a deep breath and a sigh. And I invite you, when you feel ready, I invite you to open your eyes. I invite you to open your eyes and become aware of the room that you're in. And I thank you for your time today and for joining me on this journey to Magic Shop. I hope you enjoyed it and found comfort and relaxation in this time and that I hope that you are able to come back and visit whenever you need to. Magic Shop is always there for us and it is a way that we support each other. Is it, It's a, a manifestation of the support that we gain from BTS and that again, they have also gained from us. So it's a wonderful reciprocal arrangement where we look after each other. It's our mutual support system. And all we need to do is open the door. So I hope you have a good day. Thank you for spending time with me. And I look forward to seeing you again at the next meditation. I purple you. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.